everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got another Halloween treat. This week I'm gonna have four Halloween treat videos, so make sure you click the link, go back over to my blog, and you can see all of them. This little treat um, holder pops open like this, and inside are these funny little candy-filled straws. These I've never seen before, but they are Target brand. Let me close this up and I'll show you the bag. They had quite a few new candies this year that were, I guess, um, one of their store brands. But this one looked like this. I just thought he was su super cute. It says soft and chewy, watermelon, blueberry, strawberry, lime, orange, and pineapple. So it looks almost like um, taffy. It's not actually a straw, I don't think. I think it's just taffy. Ooh, and it's got some gooey white stuff in the middle. My kids will love these. All right, we've got a really simple holder for you. And I am using Orchid Oasis and uh, pumpkin pie. Don't they look good together? All right, the first thing you're gonna need is a piece of Orchid Oasis that measures two and three fourths by 11. We're gonna score the long side at three, three and a fourth, eight and eight and a fourth. And that's it pretty easy. All right, so now get your bone folder and burnish those four score lines. You're just creating a quarter inch thickness on this little pocket holder. All right, and let's see. It doesn't, to me, I don't think it matters which one is. They look about the same. I can't even tell if they are not. I don't know, but <laughs> I don't think it matters which one goes on top and which one goes on bottom. I probably should remember that, huh? I, I designed this week ago and I can't remember if one is bigger or smaller, but if one is smaller, make it on the bottom. Goodness gracious, I should know that, shouldn't I? All right, get a piece of grid paper, scratch paper. We're gonna stamp this cute little ghost all over these two flaps, all right? And I'm just going to take Orchid Oasis, same color, tone on tone, and stamp our little cute guy just all around. Some half on, some half off. Okay, now come back over to this one, and let's do this one. And I'm trying to stagger them so that they're not all the same. That will visually make it a little more interesting. There we go. Okay, so now on the bottom, I'm gonna use one of our new punches. This punch is awesome for making these little cutout sections. Okay, so punch it right there. And now you've got this little dipped down part, right? So that you can see exactly what's in there. So put your candy in and grab a stapler and just staple those two little skinny sides. Okay, and then fold it over and there you have it, very easy. Now I've got another piece of Work at Oasis and I'm gonna fold it over, we're gonna make a belly band. Let's put some adhesive, if I can get my adhesive going, right here on the end. And we're gonna flip it over and adhere it to itself. Okay, see how that is? And I just leave it on there and open that up. Okay. All right, now we will get our ribbon. Again, Orchid Oasis. Orchid Oasis is my favorite purple that we have. It's adorable. It's a beautiful color and it looks great with pumpkin pie. This is our Orchid Oasis metallic ribbon. So it's got some shimmer to it. All right, so tie your bow. And get your scissors. Let's cut off those ends like that. And I'm gonna put the bow over on this side like this. Okay, now we've got the holder done. Let's make our little tag. Um, I have cut out a starry sky radiating stitches die. And we're gonna take that, um, we're gonna take the tombstones this time. 
and stamp them in starry sky, okay? So I'm just gonna do them kind of around the bottom like this. I think I'm gonna do like two layers. And I tried to kind of vary them so they weren't all exactly in the same position. All right, so we've got that. Now let's um, stamp our spooky, spooky haunted house out of Pebbled Path. Pebbled Path, Orchid Oasis, and Star Starry Sky are all in colors, which means they only stick around for two years. Now you'll also have noticed that I have cut out a bunch of pumpkin pie boos, and I will tell you why in just a second, but let's cut this out. Let me grab my, whoop, my cut and emboss machine, knocking things all over the place over here. And we'll get that dye that matches. All right, and my plates are pretty old and warped, so I'm gonna take my post-it tape and stick that down. Run it through. And drop it on the floor. <laughs> that wasn't part of the plan. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna take this and we are going to put this on the radiating stitches die with dimensionals. Now, the reason I have cut out several, I can't remember, four or five pumpkin pie boos is because I wanna stack them and make it look like a, a thick sticker, okay? So ahead of time, I did that. I took um, an adhesive sheet and put it on the back, all right? And we are just gonna start stacking them. An adhesive sheet is gonna make this a thousand percent easier than using liquid glue, all right? And I can't remember how many did on the first one. I can't remember if I did four or five, but there's no wrong answer you do however many you want. I think three would probably be okay, but four is gonna make it look even thicker, like you've cut it out of a thick chipboard. Um, the adhesive sheets, are they come in six by 12 size. They're in our adhesive section of our catalog. And you just put it on the back of your cardstock before you do the die cutting, and it turns it into a sticker, which just makes everything easier. I'm a mess with glue. So I always try to use adhesive sheets when I can. All right, so we'll set that there. And then I don't want to forget, I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer with my Wink of Stella. Okay. And then last but not least over here, I'm going to take these ghosts, these glow in the dark ghosts and bats and put them on here like they're coming out. Now, unfortunately, these have sold out. They are gone for good. But if you um, place an order during Facebook Friday, I have enough to send you some to make with your project. You could always cut them out of the glow-in-the-dark paper too. If you had a small little ghost eye, that would work. All right, let's put it all together. Bring over our little holder and grab my dimensionals and we'll put that on top of there well i didn't mean to do three but okay we'll do three and then we'll put that right there and voila there you have it a pretty easy halloween pocket treat holder pocket treat holder all right make sure you click the link here on youtube i have a pdf that has the supplies and the um measurements listed for you okay you can print it off and save it um, or save it to your computer you'll have the measurements and the supply list forever um, i have two other projects on that blog post and i'll have one more um, on the monday following so make sure you check them all out happy halloween everybody thanks bye bye